practice mode has always been at the game. Since the release of Geometry Dash, practice mode played an important role in keeping the game alive. It's what helps you learn the layout of a level and beat it with much more ease. But what if I told you that practice mode from the start was, and still is to this day, fundamentally flawed? To find out, we have to go back in time to the release of Geometry Dash. It's in its early stages and there's only a few main levels, icons, and not really much to do. Now, let's say you're a beginner in 1.0 and are trying to beat Stereo Madness. It's gonna be extremely difficult because Geometry Dash has a very unique difficulty style. For example, if you've never played any games before and just go on a game like Subway Surfers, it shouldn't be very hard because Subway Surfers is a very simple and straightforward game. But Geometry Dash, on the other hand, is different. If you die in Geometry Dash, you go all the way back to the beginning of a level, instead of going back to where you last died. Without practice mode, you never know what's ahead. Robtop saw this as a huge issue and thus created practice mode. Not without any issues though. When you open up Geometry Dash and click Stereo Madness for the first time, there's absolutely no call to action to use practice mode, making it basically impossible to know that there's even practice mode until you go to the pause menu. Now these issues are extremely small compared to what we're gonna go over next. When you first go into practice mode, you'll notice that the music of the game changes into a song specifically designed for practice mode. Harmless, right? Well, if you really think about it, the practice mode music highly encourages you into playing in normal mode by not having the original music in the level. It makes you associate practice mode being less fun and normal mode being extremely rewarding. For example, whenever I first played Stereo Madness, I only played practice two or three times, and it took me forever to beat it because I was never playing in practice mode. You see this with YouTubers all the time, never playing in practice, and that leads me to the point of the game never encouraging you to use practice mode. Look here, I'm in Geometry Dash and I go to any level. There's a play button, but I think what could help is having a secondary practice button. A button to bring you instantly into practice mode without having to go into the pause mode. This would really encourage using practice mode and overall I think would be a decent feature. It would definitely be on by default, but there could be an option to turn it off in the settings. When you die and you have a lot of orbs, you get this pop-up. What if we added another pop-up to tell you whenever you die three times to go into practice mode? This would be a really good way to introduce practice mode to the player really early on so they get into a habit of using it in the future. You could even have a setting that turns on practice mode on the first attempt of any level. You know what else Robtop should add to the game? A button that likes the video. Liking the video boosts the video on YouTube. So if you're enjoying the video so far, hit that like button. Here's an idea. In Geometry Dash, right clicking doesn't really do anything. So what if we make it go into practice mode? This is the easiest implication I can think of and it would make going into practice mode really easy and normalize it a lot more. I've heard from people that say they rarely use practice mode, and I think it's because the game never tells you to. Of course this is good as it doesn't annoy the player, but what about the no music pop-up? Does it really help? Does playing levels without music really help? Thanks to Groundflower for some assets for the video, and members only behind the scenes of the editing will be posted soon, and will be on my second channel later. Thanks for watching and click on this video to see what difficulty deadlocked is in Geometry Dash. Have a great day.